All right, so this is going to be a strange unboxing because it's so giant. Uh, but here we go. We have uh, Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. Uh, this is the latest game by uh, From Software. Um, this is a return to their roots. Uh, they made this Armored Core series back in the day. Uh, I'm trying to recall what platforms it was on. I know it was at least on the PlayStation 2. But I'm trying to recall if it was also on something earlier. I don't remember if it was a PlayStation 1 title or not. Um, but this is the Collector's Edition. Edition Collector. Yeah, whatever. Um, forgive the backdrop. I, uh... I play these games, so sometimes they are messy. Um, but yeah, let's let's get started. I also might, I don't know, I might step around the other side. So you might see my gross shirt. Let's see. Um, I said this when it came, but the box isn't in the best shape, and I'm a little, a little bit irritated by that. Um, you know, you buy this expensive collector's edition, you kind of want the box to at least arrive halfway decent. Yeah, it's like all bent. Let's take a look at the inside. You get a... Lots of little... Accoutrement. Supposedly from the game. Little designs. Fourth gen augmented human. Hey, I'm a fourth gen augmented human. It speaks to me. All right, come on. Watch as Sam struggles to open the collector's box. Come on, come on you red bastard. Come on you dirty rotten son of a bitch. What the freaking Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's take a peek at what's inside. We have the game. Um, dude, it's like a little warped. What the fuck? This is a collector's edition. <laughs> uh, you have the game. You have. Other stuff? What is all this other stuff? Come on. It's stuff that doesn't want to come out. Um, original soundtrack. There's a code for downloading the soundtrack. There are a stack of stickers. Presumably factions and decals that you can apply to your mechs in the game. Um, regardless, they are stickers that I will not be sticking to anything, as is my way. I get stickers, I don't put them on anything. It's kind of my M.O. Because last year, and I put stickers on my shelves, then I had a flood, and I had to throw away all the shelves. Uh, there's the steel box. It's not bad. It's uh, kind of, 
I mean, it's fine. It's not bad. I wouldn't say it's excellent, but it's fine. Um, and then you have this thing that I've been struggling to get out. Because it's just in there real good. It's like it doesn't quite fit. All right. Stop wiggling. Uh, looks like it's like little... Um, pins for various things from the game. Um, they don't come out very well. Oh, hey. You do something like this, probably. Probably? Yeah. And there they are. Okay. We won't take them out. Little pins. And I don't, I don't know, I honestly don't know the lore. It's been so long since I played the last Armored Core. I don't, I don't know if any of these uh, symbols mean anything. Um, and that is all that's in there. You have... What's this next thing? Ooh, it's a book that is also bent. My goodness. Bandai, do better. Um, what is this, an art book? Yep, like concept art. Pretty fun stuff. All right, um, I'm gonna move some things and then we'll get into the meat. All right. So, the meat of this collector's edition is undeniably going to be the figurine, because um, it comes with some sort of figurine. Alright, so there is the box that supposedly contains the figurine with a grenade the size of a tangerine figurine. Alright, see what's inside here. Oh boy, so I angled the camera so you could kind of see inside the box a bit better. Um, it, uh, it very much seems like a do-it-yourself kind of figurine. Um, let's pull this out and see what's underneath. And hit the camera so that it wobbles because that's the kind of person I am. All right. All right. Wow, it's like so much crap. All right. Let us start by pulling whatever this thing out is. This thing is out. English is hard. So presumably that's the base. Um, I don't know if this is a backdrop or what this is. Uh, but we will get to that. And let's, let's pull this guy out. This is the actual mech. Yeah. All right. Uh, we have a gun. It's very plasticky looking. 
you would think for the price you would have something that maybe was detailed better to not look so plasticky um, there's a thing I don't know what that thing is there's a little hand there's uh, if I had to guess I'd say that's a head or an alternate head there's some pretty good little details in there the head's not so bad if it is a head I don't know if it's a head I think it's a head this is another gun with the hand already on it and the final gun yeah I don't know these guns are a little they're just a touch plasticky for my taste because yeah the the figurines are supposed to look these aren't supposed to look like toys they're supposed to look like figurines Let's pull the mech. And is there anything else in there? There is not. Alright, so there's our mech. And is this an alternate head? Is it something you can remove? I mean, it sure looks like it's an alternate head. In fact, it looks like it's a replacement head, should this one. So it really doesn't look like it's that different. This one's got a little bit of a... I don't know. I guess you could say it's a mouth guard, and this one doesn't. Um, Hmm, I see. There's only one way to go in. Okay, and then, uh, what does this do? Does this go, does he grisp, grasp this? Kind of wish it had instructions of some sort. Because, <laughs> like, what is this thing? Where does this go? What the hell is this? What the hell is that? Um, I think it goes here because yeah these are this is the oh oh I get it this is the um uh the your rocket launchers over your shoulder I just I can't quite see to get the angle right there we go I had to remove it from the camera so that I could see it. Um, ah, I see. And then this thing. Yeah, it, it kind of needs instructions. I don't suppose this is the instructions. This paper thing. Let's pull it out. Take a peek. Ah, it is. It is instructions. Um, okay, so this guy, oh, that's kind of cool, it comes off and this comes off, I don't know why it's telling me it can come off though, it's, I don't know why you would take it off. Oh, I see why you take it off. So, you take it off so that you can attach it to the arm. And then... This 
goes like this goes like this um, which means if it goes there that means this goes like this I get you I see how it is and then this goes like that okay okay of course I'm doing this out of order uh, oh I see it's this guy got it um, and it goes somehow like this if you can align the things right is that right that seems seems wrong no that is correct and then yes this is an alternate head um, but I gotta be honest I kind of prefer the head that's on him but then when it is all said and done you put him and he doesn't there's no he just stands there there's no um, well he just stands there there's no attaching it all right so there he is there oh my goodness yeah it's a little fiddly there he is there's the mech yeah so hmm all right, so uh, final thoughts. If I if I had to, uh, you know, gun to my head, give a review to this thing. Um, it's pretty cool, uh, but the overly plastic, plasticky looking nature of it, and the fact that some of the uh, intentional distress that was added to it is is pretty subtle. It, it honestly looks too much like a toy for my tastes. You know, you compare this to something like... Um, uh, you compare this to something like the Assassin's Creed 2 figurine, the Ezio figurine, or you compare it to something like the, uh, the God of War figurine for the... For the uh, the PlayStation 4 God of War game. It's... I wouldn't put it in the same category as those. It's okay. It's not terrible. But considering the price, I am not certain that it really justifies the price. Um, it is cool. And I will definitely display it. Um... And it is nice that you have an alternate helmet, or head, um, if you really wanted that. But uh, I guess if I were to give it a, a score, uh, I would say it is maybe a seven uh, over-the-shoulder rockets out of ten over-the-shoulder rockets. It's good. It's above average. It's certainly better than the the Batman battering that I'm still and will always be salty about. But yeah, it's it could be better. It could be better. But there it is. The Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon Collector's Edition. Not bad. Yeah, keep hitting the camera, pal. That's not going to get old at all.